Has this ever happened to you? Hi, my name is Dana Wendell, master drummer and percussionista Zader, and I have the solution for you. Today, you will learn to be not only a master of percussion, but percussion instruments as well. We'll get it done in four easy steps, but first, there's a secret step zero. Don't be a goober. We can't have no goober drummers around here. There's too many drummer dummies around here without any of these goobers. So let's get it done. Look at this goober over here. Look at this goober. He ain't fit to be no drummer. No drummer can be a goober. Here we go. Let's get it done. Step one. Resonance. There are too many drummers around here that are being goobers and they know nothing about resonance or how to make a good sound with their instrument. Just like this guy over here. Just like this guy was hiding over here. I'll tell you, there's too many of them. So we're going to get started with an instrument that relies heavily on resonance. It's called the timpani and I'm going to have my non-goober drummer friend named Taylor demonstrate how it works. Let's go! Oh man, where have we transported to? This is the music wing. West side. Get it together. No room for being disoriented when you're a drummer. You gotta be alert. Alert! I'm gonna introduce you to my friend Taylor and he's gonna be teaching you how to be a drummer master today. See here, the timpani is a perfect instrument to use if you want to talk about surface waves. The way surface waves work is that there are some places where the waves are particularly effective and the surface is vibrating. And there are some areas where everything is still and there is no vibration. With the timpani, that latter area is the center of the drum. In the center, there is barely any sound that can be heard. It's extremely muffled. Muffling is for goobers. So what you need to do to exploit the tone of a set of, of timpani is to hit the drum on or near the edge of the head. Next, we're going to be talking about the xylophone. The xylophone is a beautiful mallet keyboard instrument. And it also has to deal with surface waves. We talk about surface waves a lot in the percussion world. We have to deal with them every day. We love surface waves. Not that we have a choice. Ha! Ha ha. So now, we're going to have Taylor demonstrate the xylophone and how it works. The xylophone keys are held down on each end and are best played in the center. As of the timpani, the marimba has nodes, or dead areas, and these are where the strings touch the key. The sound will not be as rich as it would be if you hit the instrument in the center. Here, the sound is much more rich due to the fact that the waves are extremely active in those areas. I love music in the xylophone. Now, we're going to talk about muffling the bass drum. For those of you goobers that don't know, the bass drum is a super important part of keeping time in any groove. And some drummers muffle the bass drum to eliminate overtones and create a more solid bass drum tone. What you're doing when you muffle the bass drum is you're essentially taking out overtones from the drum that are specifically out of tune with the fundamental or the basic tone of the drum. And that is how you get a better tone for live and recorded sound. going to talk about is tuning your drums effectively. This is an important thing to know when you're a drummer because you got to tune drums all the freaking time. What drum tuning has to deal with is the velocity of the sound or the wave that you're making when you strike the drum. To turn the velocity up, that means you're going to be taking the pitch of the drum up. If you want to take the pitch of the drum down, that means you got to tune the lug to the left. Changing the velocity of the wave will change the pitch. We're gonna tune this drum way up high. We're gonna tune it way up high. So I'm gonna tune, tune each lug. If you listen to how it is like this, pretty low. Now I'm gonna take each lug and turn it up a quarter turn. Now let's check it. Ooh, it's getting up there. Hey, what do you guys think? What, what do you guys think of this? Goober. They don't care. Anyways, let's keep going. Let's tune this drum down now. We'll tune it down half turns. All right, now, now let's check it out. Oh, see how low it is? So that's what happens. When you, when you tune the drum down or up, you're changing the velocity of the wave, which means the pitch is gonna go down and up too. Dig it. So now that you've learned how to be a drummer master and not a goober, don't be no goober, no goober drummers. We talked about this before. But now that you've learned how to be a master, you can go out and shred your skills for the whole world to see. So go out there, have fun, and don't forget your physics, friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks. I love it.